What's going on, everyone? Mike O back with another mail day pile of stuff, including some slabs, autographs, tops, living set cards, care packages, all kinds of great stuff. Going to hop right into it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. First up here is an awesome card from Diamond Icons, Victor Robles. Big, sweet patch. Auto to the right. Beautiful card. Diamond Icons is beautiful. If you guys collect new guys, rookies, or the old school Hall of Famers, check out Diamond Icons for some amazing cards to add to your collection. You can usually get them at a pretty decent price. Pick this Robles up right before he actually got called up by the Nationals and started playing really well, and now his stuff has escalated a little bit. All right, next up, a few tops living set cards. This is the latest batch that came in. Joey Votto. Interesting, interesting character. David Bodie. And Trevor Story, who's Rockies. Back in the postseason, doing well. You can see right there, unfortunately, a white corner, so these living set cards can be tough. Love to get them graded and slabbed when I can. Obviously, this is one I wouldn't even consider. I mean, story stuff is still pretty affordable, so might be able to pick one up at a later date. But those are the ones that just came in directly from Tops. Do have a few that I actually picked up at auction, super cheap. Got this Jose Altuve, who actually missed out when he was for sale. And then Chris Taylor, he's just a guy I like watching play. I think he's a really good player. Obviously, no kind of star or anything like that, but... This guy is, uh, he's performed over the last couple years, so really nice card right there for the collection. Then I'll have another one I picked up when I get to some slabs. Got a few Hoskins autos. Picked this one up out of Inception. I actually already had it, but was watching it, and it was crazy low, so I kind of sniped it late. Inception is just, they're beautiful cards. Awesome for singles. Probably the worst product that I broke any of this year, though. So, hey, if there's a Black Friday sale and these are like 25 bucks a box, jump all over it. But otherwise, just stick to singles. Here's a very awesome card. Diamond, uh, not Diamond Icons. This is actually Topps Definitive, which is probably actually my favorite high-end product of the year. I mean, Diamond Icons is beautiful too, but absolutely adore Topps Definitive, especially these gold-framed autos. Look at that card. I don't care what you collect, who you collect, what players you like or teams you like. You can't tell me that that's not a gorgeous baseball card. Number 26 of 30, blue auto on light background. Just that cool canvas look to the card, the frame. Absolutely exceptional. So great job, Tops. I'm not so sure they should be as expensive as they are to break, but great job. It's an awesome, awesome product. All right, there's a stack of cards. This is coming from a break. Did one uh, case break of Bowman Chrome. Uh, you know, get your base cards. I thought I got pretty good value on this. I forget what the price was, but it was relatively cheap. Got some rookies like Crawford, a few inserts. Get some prospect cards. Hoskins rookies. Some of the low-end guys. De Los Santos, first Bowman card. So, get a nice selection of base cards. Got a number of Hoskins, so that's good. Again, some of the real young guys that you won't know about for years. Got one refractor. It's of Adubel Herrera. Then on top of that, got some autos. Of course, these are all super young guys, so we'll see if they ever make it. But Kyle Young, Connor Siebold, Nick Fanti, and then a Fanti Green. So I think the green one is numbered to 99. So I'm not as big of a Bowman fan as other people. I mean, I think the cards look great. I just, I'm more into the guys that at least make the majors. I mean, prospecting is fun, but I think prospecting is more fun when the guys are actually major league players and you can kind of decide which guys are going to make it or not. Here's a cool pickup. Nice Curtis Martin, award winner's card. There was a $5 coupon, I think last week or this weekend. Used it for this. Grab this one really cheap, probably like 13 bucks on eBay, I think. Got the $5 certificate towards it. Got a little bit of chipping, but beautiful on-card auto. Award winners. This is commemorating his Rookie of the Year award. And you know what? Panini, I've been very uh, harsh on over the years, but I do think their products have improved over the last two. And I do like the trend of more on-card autos because, let's be honest, 
all autographs should be on card, and at least most. You want to do the stickers for a few low-end products, so be it, but especially these retired guys, you got to get these suckers on card. That's a beautiful, beautiful card, so happy to add that to the Patriots PC. Now on to some slabs. This is, most of these, these first few are from Four Sharp Corners, then we'll get a few eBay pickups. This is a random 2007 Donner's Classics Tom Brady PSA Gem Mint 10. Picked up a Tommy Green from 91 Tops, the Desert Shield. I actually don't have any Desert Shield cards in the collection, so Tommy Green's a guy who I enjoyed watching. He's a guy who was a member of the 93 Phillies. He also threw a no-hitter for the Phillies back in 1991. So he made a little bit of a stamp in the uh, in Phillies history. Uh, really good pitcher for there for a few years. A lot of injuries kind of derailed his career. This is a PSA Mint 9. He's actually a guy who's stuck around. He lives down the street from my brother. And he's done some Phillies uh, TV work as well. So... Thought this was awesome for the collection. Wanted to pick up a Desert Shield card and got this for $6, I believe. So, it was a no-brainer. Here's an awesome card, everyone. It's got to be one of the most iconic cards of all time. Probably top five for sure. The 89 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Star Rookie. It's a PSA Mint 9. So, I really wanted to slab the card I had from, my, from growing up, my original Griffey. Unfortunately, though, had that in a screw down with no recessed area for years. And when I took it out, the corners, a couple of the corners, at least two of them were kind of squashed. I mean, the card still looks fine, but obviously it wouldn't grade well. So I just put that one in a magnetic and wanted to eventually pick up a grade at one. Would love a 10, but a 10 is around 400 some dollars. The nine you can get um, anywhere from 50 to 75. So I got this on the lower end of that. And definitely had happy to add a slab to one of the collection. Again, Hall of Famer and one of the most iconic baseball cards in the history of baseball cards. Another pickup here is a 2013 Topps Christopher Davis, Chris Davis. This guy is the most consistent player in baseball right now. He's a really good player. He's hit 40-plus home runs four years in a row. He's also hit exactly 247 four years in a row. Now, I don't know that he has enough time or if he'll be consistent enough long enough to hit 500 home runs, but I do know this guy's going to hit 350 to 400, be one of those guys that's just a perennial power hitter. I think he's a fun guy to watch and a fun guy to collect. Finally jumped on board, wanted to pick up a rookie card of him in a PSA 10. Super cheap, again, probably like 10 bucks. So not much more or maybe even less than it would cost to be graded. And I just think it's a cool card. I mean, again, not so sure he's a Hall of Fame candidate, but he's certainly building on his resume. So wanted to grab that. Another cheap one was this Alex Bregman Bowman rookie. The Bowman paper rookies are generally pretty quick, pretty cheap. Got this one, again, very cheap, less than the cost of get, gr getting a card graded. Stumbling over my words a little bit in this video. Anyway, this Bregman's pretty sweet. I think this guy is it's just a stud player. Fantastic. Has amazing ability. So, grabbed it due to the price. There's a living set card that's great at PSA Gem Mint 10 Glaber Torres rookie. Torres is a beast. Did get banged up and kind of struggled a little bit later in the season, but I think this guy's going to be something special. I think he's got Superstar written all over him. Gem Mint 10. These cards are tough. I showed you some before. I don't think they're the easiest cards to grade. Got this one for like $17, so could not turn it down at that price. And we got three coming up from Probstein. Grabbed this one only because the shipping was free and I bought two other cards. And because the price was right. I think this was about $7. Near Mint to Mint 8, Dallas Green, 1965 Tops card. Love the look of 65 tops. Dallas Green, I mean, this guy's a baseball lifer. I think he was in baseball for five or six decades. He pitched for the Phillies. He managed for the Phillies. He coached for the Phillies. He was a scout for the Phillies. I think he was GM for the Phillies as well. So he's a longtime Philly guy. And again, just thought it would be cool to add to the slabbed PC. Picked up, finally, the Justin Verlander rookie. 
2005 Tops PSA Gem Mint 10. Been looking at this since last year. Finally got them in a price range that I was happy with. Of course, they also had the eBay promotion, 15%. If you guys see those coupons, definitely a great time to pick up a card. If you get a card at a great price and you can get that percentage off, it's uh, it's big time. You don't want to buy something for the sake of buying something and then overpay only to get the 15% down to the standard pay. But you definitely want to be on the lookout for great cards that you're looking to pick up. So super sweet Verlander. Obviously, this guy has just uh, had himself a Hall of Fame caliber career. So we'll see how it ends. I do think he is a future Hall of Famer for sure after last year's performance and then continuing to add on some stats over the next few years. Plus, we'll see what he does in the postseason this year. And then I'm on the Lindor train. Here's another one of the Francisco Lindor 2015 Topps Chrome Rookies. This was a short print in the set. Got the PSA Gem Mint 10 again. I've picked up a couple of these and then a few I sent off for grading. So I just... I think this guy is a special player, and he hasn't really hit the major hype train. Mookie Betts, some of these other guys have gotten crazy expensive. Lindor is still fairly affordable. I mean, this is a little pricier card. They're oftentimes the asking price on this is closer, close to about a hundred. You can get it a bit cheaper if you're patient, and then again, if you find coupons, that helps a lot. Then one final Lindor, this wasn't from the same seller, this was from a different seller, but finally jumped on the 2011 Bowman Chrome Lindor, first Bowman card, PSA Gem Mint 10. This card's certainly steadily been rising. I mean, you could have gotten these fairly cheap two years ago. Still affordable, but they've gotten a little pricier, so another nice pickup for the Lindor collection. Next up, got uh, two care packages I'm going to show off quick. I know I'm kind of running out of time on my phone. But I did get a nice note from Easton. So he's 13 years old and he enjoys the channel. And I really appreciate you watching the channel. But I'm going to ask you guys who are younger, you know, don't feel obligated or like you have to send stuff. I appreciate these Phillies cards you sent my way. Some cool oddballs like the crock I don't have. But honestly, you guys who are younger, I really encourage you guys to build your collections, go out there and buy stuff when you can for yourself. Not to say you can't grow up and be generous and you can't trade with friends, but try and build your collection while you can. And don't feel like you have to send stuff out to people on YouTube. I mean, I think it's great when some of us send each other packages, but I know I just want to say that I appreciate it, but I don't encourage people to over send stuff i know there's some self promoters out there guy who's really popular with football channels and thinks more highly of himself than anyone in the world and likes energy drinks that dude begs for stuff and we've got a guy with a card shop out in california who is you know begging people to mail him stuff too the guy owns a card shop and he's has kids mailing him stuff i'm not all about that again i appreciate care packages but i just want the young guys to build their collections and not feel like they have to build others but easton really appreciate it here's another care package from i collect ichiro ray i don't know what you sent here but i certainly appreciate you sending some stuff my way again no obligation but here's some cool stuff like a holiday i didn't have and a hamels this looks like a lot of awesome binder material some stuff i'll have might pass along to some of my fellow Phillies fans. That Hamels I didn't. I uh, love X-Fractors. So some nice shine here from Ray. Guys, you should check out I Collect Ichiro. Great channel. Easton, if you uh, watch this video and you have a channel, because I feel like you comment it, but I don't remember what your channel is offhand, uh, comment on this and I will pin you to the top and you can... Uh, Hopefully gain a few subscribers if you're making videos, which I certainly encourage you to do so. But I collect Ichiro, guys. Ray is a great dude, and he sent all these Phillies cards my way. So awesome stuff. Again, really appreciate it. But I understand time is limited for everyone and funds are limited, so... I'm not trying to sound ungrateful for people who send me stuff. I just 
especially the young people, I'd like to see them put put their efforts in their own collection. That's an awesome Rollins. A lot of Rollins shine, which I did not have any of those. I love that Howard. Definitely needed that. That's something I would have eventually bought on Com C. I think that's the... Uh, I gotta look. I think that, yeah, that's the later. That's the reprint Rollins. They didn't make blue. Sorry, Ray, that I'm speeding through this. I'm going to say I probably have about 30 seconds of space left on what I'm filming on. So, got to fly through it. Appreciate everyone watching. Of course, comment below. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Check out I Collect Etro. I love those cards. Upper Deck did a great job. Some sweet Rollins. Man, you're giving me work to do. I got to put all this stuff in binders. I love that Rollins. Love Gallery. At least cool. That Oswalt's nice. I don't have a ton of Oswalt stuff. That Hamels is sweet too. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.